Details about this fiery Tesla crash over the weekend, two federal agencies are now investigating. Local investigators believe there was no one driving the car when it slammed into a tree near the woodlands and killed two people. Our story about the crash is one of the most read articles on Click2Houston.com right now. And tonight, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says it has launched a special crash investigation and is, quote, actively engaged with local law enforcement and Tesla to learn more about the details of this crash. And the National Transportation Safety Board says it is sending two investigators to conduct a safety investigation. Certainly a lot of unknowns tonight. We definitely had questions about how this might happen if that car was driving by autopilot. KPRC 2's Devin Clark live in West Houston. Devin, a Tesla owner walked you through how the car's self-driving feature actually works. Keith, we did a ride along with that Tesla owner who demonstrated why he believes the car's self-driving features make it safer and less likely to crash. Meanwhile, today, Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeted out a tweet saying that the car that crashed in the woodlands didn't even have self-driving mode. All right. While its design is simple. This is your display. This controls everything in the car. Tesla owner Michael Fowler says the vehicle comes equipped with intricate safety features. Some Teslas, like his Model 3, include full self-driving capabilities. And you can see with the full self-driving hardware, it's actually able to determine like stop signs, stop lights. After investigators said a Tesla that crashed into the woods and killed two men Saturday night was driverless, we decided to put the self-driving feature to the test. I can actually turn on auto steer and now the car is following the road, essentially. But Fowler says the feature makes it impossible for the car to drive itself without someone behind the wheel. Now, if I left my hands off for a period of time, see it says apply slight force to the steering wheel. It's gonna, if I don't grab the wheel at this point, it's gonna stop. Fowler adds the car won't operate without the driver wearing their seatbelt. It puts you in basically timeout for autopilot purposes. The car also obeys the speed limit, switches lanes, and veers away from obstacles. All features that Fowler says make the car safer and less likely to crash. Today, Tesla CEO Elon Musk sent a tweet about the Woodlands crash, which in part reads, quote, data logs so far show autopilot was not enabled, and this car did not purchase full self-driving Moreover, standard autopilot would require lane lines to turn on, which this street did not have. Constable Herman says that he has subpoenaed data files from Tesla. The National Highway Transportation Safety Administration says that it's working with local law enforcement and Tesla to gather details of the crash. And as we mentioned earlier, the National Transportation Safety Board is now also investigating. For now, reporting live in West Houston, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Devin.